Number of candidates for Libyan presidential elections on December 24th has risen to 30 as of Saturday evening submitted their nomination papers to the Libyan High Electoral Commission. Despite the fact that the High Electoral Commission has continued to accept presidential and parliamentary candidates for elections, wave of refusal to hold elections in accordance with the laws of the House of Representatives adopted by the Commission for the Holding of Elections continues. As a number of high-ranking officials in Jadu, Far West Libya, emphasize on their refusal to hold votes in line with the electoral laws themselves and have called for them to be held in step with an agreed constitutional rule. During the evening of Friday and Saturday, in the capital Tripoli in Masrata, dozens of protesters gathered in protest against the electoral laws that allow the elections of criminals and murderers, as the statement of demonstrators in the city of Masrata described, namely Saif din Gaddafi and Khalifa Haftar, as well as all those who have committed crimes against Libyans. The continuation of denial's positions coincided with the new statements by the House of Representatives spokesman Akila Sala, denying that the electoral laws were detailed for a person and that they had been passed by the deputies to be abstract, public, and not to inspect anyone. He added that there is no room for electoral laws to be amended. In his turn, Abdul Hamid Dabiba, the actual government president, warned against preparing electoral laws which he considered it was the way to deprive citizens of their choice of leadership and the right to self-determination.